I love to uh, go into our archives where I work at the television station Channel 5. I love to go into the archives and look at old pieces of video. Pieces of video of me when my hair was not quite as gray as it is now. Pieces of video of some of you when your hair was perhaps not as gray as it is right now. But I love to look at the old video and look at some of the stories that we have covered in this town. I can remember going back and looking at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the cutting of the ribbon at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the confetti that poured down, and how all of that worked together. Some of those people who are in that picture have passed on, have gone on, but the pictures are summonable from the past. They are summonable from the archives. One day we have perhaps somebody will look at the pictures that are taken here. It may be a hundred years from now and we will be gone. I will be gone. Maybe you'll be here, but I probably will be gone. But a hundred years or fifty years from now, they will look at these pictures and they will think about us and they will wonder about us what kind of people we were and where we stood. We hope that they will applaud us as we applaud the name of Daniel Burnham, who in 1903 laid out the plans for the mall all the way from Public Square all the way to the city and the county buildings here on Lakeside. He laid out that plan. He is long gone, but we bring up his name and we summon his image and we think about his work. One day they will look at these pictures that we take today. I want you to remain seated, you in the audience, but I'm going to ask the entire podium to move out of their seats and come to the front of the podium. All of our podium partners will now receive a ceremonial pair of scissors to officially cut and open the Cleveland Convention Center, cutting the ribbon, but do not cut yet. Our podium partner will be joined by the Senior Games mascot, the first official event of this building, the first event of this building will be the 2013 National Senior G Games as we welcome more than 10,000 athletes and 20,000 spectators to our city beginning in July the 19th. Is the mascot here? The mascot is here, the Senior Game mascot. Now we're all going to do this on a count down to one, or zero really, at this time. Of this. If all our podium partners are ready, we will count down from three, two, one. Count. Here we are. Congratulations to all of us. At this time, we're offering tours of the new Cleveland Convention Center, courtesy of the young men and women to my left from the Downtown Cleveland Alliance. If you're interested in a tour of the new facility, please move to the side of the podium stage and the Downtown Cleveland Alliance volunteers will direct you on your tour of this new one million square foot facility. Thank you for attending the ceremonial ribbon cutting for the new Cleveland Convention Center. We encourage everyone to join us tomorrow for a community-wide Celebrate the Center open house from 10 in the morning until four in the afternoon Free admission, fun activities courtesy of the Cleveland Browns, the Cleveland Indians, the Cleveland Cavaliers, along with the music provided by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Health, Care, Health Career Fair upstairs and the new Global Center for Health Innovation. You can also enjoy exhibits from the U.S. Coast Guard, the Senior Games, and the NASA Space Communication Science on a Sphere. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Please join us for the opening ceremonies of the 2013 National Summer Senior Games on July 19th. We'll see you at Mall B. I'm Leon Bibb. Good luck, be well, and we'll talk again.